Hi guys, good afternoon. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. Big shout out to Bad Wolf 1587. Thank you so much. Uh, you said that you loved Creed back in the day. I've seen him a couple times in concert. How right on. And you're staying subbed because you want some more Ren. I love Ren. I love Ren and it's been a while since we did Ren. So what I did was I came right here and of course I'm looking for Ren's latest. And we get right here to Knox Hill featuring Ren Fentanyl. Okay, before we go any further, let's just talk a little bit about um, the name of the song and it's Fentanyl. And I think no matter where you live in the world, um, you probably know what this name is. And probably most of you know somebody who is addicted to Fentanyl. Um, it is really ravaging um, the world, especially the United States, um, Kensington, Philadelphia, um, or Philadelphia, it's called Kensington, and it is an open air market that they are starting to <clears throat> rid of some of it, but it is um, inf inf infected and just infested with fentanyl and it's really sad because these people have lives and uh, I'm not speaking as a bystander. I am somebody who was addicted to fentanyl. Um, about 13 years ago I was uh, prescribed it and this was before um, people were using it on the streets. Um, so it was, you know, uh, prescribed to me through a doctor. They were patches and I was very quickly addicted. And so I, I see um, a lot of these videos in Kensington and, and really all over the world where they are being hit so heavily um, with fentanyl, but now it is also laced with something even heavier. And if you don't know, fentanyl is a uh, synthetic opioid, but it's 100 times stronger than morphine. It is so strong. I mean, I thought that only it was given to cancer patients, but... You know, it's everywhere on the street, and in fact, people don't even, um, are not even able to buy heroin anymore. So, it's very, very sad. I'm very, um, interested to hear what the song is about. Need to fix Pardon it and me, we're gonna just... Don't fix and flip. We're gonna skip through Instead. this. Conscious rap was vibing, but they said it wasn't selling. So instead of tribe, the question was for highs. I guess I get it. But we sold our daylight souls and reassigned the proper metrics. Violent rap survived and Darwinized the prophet zealots. Survival of the fittest. Trade your boss for gems and you'll be shining. That's the realest. In this climate of addiction style, Big Pharma is the realest. Now, as long as pills are filling, you ain't really got to feel the sound. The world is full of juice, and while you floating, you've been finna drown. How many rappers out here missing now? They sell you with this vision and this fear of missing out. The industry will fuck us, so we follow what is trending. Brag about these hollow tips, but it's all hollow tip dependent. I lace my verse with fentanyl and lean into attention. Toe tags for dimensions, body bags for what they spending. While they brag and we descended from the ground, we all descendants now. Sinners don't sleep in this broken town. Trading their souls for some golden brown. Feel the release, come back down. But when I'm coming... Cousin was a pitcher on that curve. He got that scholarship on campus. He's the man. Throwing heat as he was hot as shit. But then he hurt his arm. Senior years, time to prove it. Started taking painkillers so he could play and keep it moving. Scouts watching, couldn't lose him. So he took more and he kept using. For he knew it, he's abusing. Fastballs and two seams. Too clean, but now he's losing weight. Drug test, he failed. So they kicked him off the team. He tried to kick the habit, but he's mad that he had lost his dreams. He's sad, but he got off the lane. But all it takes is one reminder. In his mind, he could couldn't help it, he was trying to finally settle, midnight he went outside, he was fighting with his devils, one hit he told himself, it'll help me through this hell, I know I'm sick and I need help, but one hit man, what the hell, so he lit it, then he took it to the face, but as the story goes, you know that fentanyl is lace, sinners don't sleep in this broken town, trading their souls for some gold. Took my fuck. 
fucking life. Took my pride, you took my mind, took who I am and turned to vice. Took my fam, I burned the price, and now I stand on murder time. And all my plans have turned to ice, I burn in fire, build this pyre higher. I'm wired in this dopamine, get higher. Still a broken fiend, supplier of the hopeless dreams. When it's all smoke, the only ropes are one that chokes. Will they remember me? Take all my memories and light them on this fire. Fire for the crooked dealer, he who packaged hate. Fire for that greedy villain, he who had it laced. Fire for my future, that look on my father's face. My mother's still in tears, my cousin, he's too far away. When they told me to get help, and yes, I tried, I tried again. But in the end, we're all just veins. And in the end, it came to veins. And in the end, I died in vain. And in the end, I tried to fuck it. CDC reports that from 1999 to 2001, opioids, including fentanyl, has, have caused over 500,000 deaths in the U.S. Ooh, it's a lot more now. It's 2024. I have the statistics written down. It's really awful, you guys. So listen, a lot of people, it's changed a lot, but a lot of people, you know, you think of addicts as scumbags and you know, the cesspool of the earth and this and that, but you, you have to understand that. Um, my years of battling addiction, which is, it started at the age of 17. And, uh, thankfully I've been off hard drugs for years now. Um, but alcohol has been my, um, the one that, uh, keeps grabbing me. I like to drink. Uh, I like how I feel. I am somebody who's very, very anxious, um, prone to panic attacks and, um, just real, real awful, uh, night terrors, all kinds of yucky shit. And so I was, uh, prescribed, uh, benzodiazepines for 25 years. 20 years, we'll say that. Well, let's see, I stopped taking um, Klonopin uh, two years ago and I stopped taking opioids five years ago. I had a surgery that I had to have some um, about a year and a half ago, um, but I have been off hard drugs. I am a uh, proud marijuana smoker. <laughs> I live in Michigan, I don't know where you live in the world, but it's very, very accepted here and I'll tell you. I would be on very, very heavy um, pain meds like fentanyl if I was not able to have like my edibles for my pain or, you know, the marijuana I need to alleviate my pain because um, I had a back injury several, several years ago and that's what left me on heavy pain pills even after I was able to get off fentanyl. Um, what helped me get off the fentanyl was a methadone program, which I only used, uh, I only went to for about four months, and then I was on Norcos. And so I was on Norcos um, up to, uh, till in fact, right before I had my son, and so I've never used since that. But what I'm getting at is, um, you know, addiction does not discriminate, and, you know, it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't matter who you are. If you are somebody who's maybe had a tragic childhood, people say, oh, that's a cover up, this, that. Well, you are prone to mental illness and mental illness, unfortunately, um, goes hand in hand with addiction. Um, so uh, enough about that. This the, uh, catchy song heavy meaning. I liked it. It's not Ren Ren, but it's Knox Hill featuring Ren. So I hope that, I hope that's okay. You wanted some Ren. This, this needs to be out, you know, and if, if you don't know what's going on in the world with fentanyl, you're lucky, but it's sad because, you know, now I have a five-year-old that I'm raising in a world that now is coming up with these drugs that are stronger and stronger and everything's laced and it's very very scary and I have to worry about a child that 
you know, could be in high school one day and somebody says, take this Percocet or take this and it'd be fentanyl. So sad. And it's so scary to think about. And so many, the number one death rate is 18 to 25 of fentanyl users. So it's, they're young. They're very, very young and it's super sad. I love you guys. Tell me what you thought of this song. Um, thank you for listening. If you've listened this long, I love you guys. I love all my subscribers. I love your messages. I'm actually reading them today and getting back to them. So I just want to let you know that's not something I can do every day. I'm now doing like five different occupations. I know. Well, I'm doing Amazon and I'm doing, um, Walmart affiliate marketing, but I'm getting together all the videos before I launch it. And then I have a few other um, income streams I've been doing. So I'm very, very busy, but I do want to keep up with these um, videos for you guys. I love you guys. I love all your recommendations. And I like that you watch some of mine. I know some of mine are like crazy and you might not like them, but <laughs> I love you guys. It's all in good fun. I just want you to smile. Have a good day. If you had a bad day, just put this on and dance with me for a minute and just lose yourself. And that's really all I want to do for you guys is just um, watch these videos with you. You're my pals. You're my friends. And I look at you like that and we're watching this together. So I love you guys so very much. If you haven't, give me a thumbs up if you like that. Um, don't forget to hit your notification bell. Then you don't miss any content. I do drop um, content very regularly. And I've said on the last couple of videos, I will be posting some of my Amazon um, storefront items. But you know what? If you don't want to look at that, that's okay. Just I'm going to be doing review. This is going to be a review and a reaction channel now. So I'm going to be reviewing a lot of products which are going to be sent to me and stuff like that. So stay tuned if you're looking forward to stuff like that. The holidays. Let me take the fuss out of buying it, you know, like trying it out for you and making sure it's um, a good reviewed product. And it's it, definitely, I will not endorse or recommend anything that is not real. I will not for not in a dollar amount of a. I love you so much, guys. I will see you next time, which will be in a minute because I got more videos. Love you. Peace and love. Mwah.